Good morning, sir. Good morning, Gauri. How are you doing? I am fine, sir. Good morning, everybody. Yes, sir. Hi, hi, hello, hi, hi, hello. Hi, hi. Good morning. Good, morning. good, good. All well. Good, good morning. So let's all go live on videos. I think these are the e-learning, so might as well everyone should go live and. I request all students also to go live so that when you introduce yourself, so at least we should be able to see who is learning, who is studying. Hi, That's great. Dr. Vipra, can we start now? Uh, yes, sir. We can start the session. I think there are some students who are yet to join, or they, everyone has joined in. OK. Uh, sir, almost everyone has joined. One or two are remaining. Uh, they are okay. also joining. Right. So we can start with the session. Sure. Thank you, Dr. Vipra. Thank you very much. All right. Thank Good you. morning. Uh, welcome you all to this new batch. The August batch uh, of the advanced postgraduate diploma in clinical research, pharmacovigilance, and data management. Welcome you all uh, to this program. And first of all, wish you all a very special Independence Day, 75th Independence Day of India, which is a you know the great moment for the India. And there's a lot happened. We are a young nation. We are a we are a very old civilization as India, uh, but we are a very young nation. Uh, and seventy five years, I would call in the history of the nation as a very very young country, and lot has uh, lot has been achieved. A uh, lot of is yet to be achieved, but I think the next twenty five years. Uh, are going to be very important and all of you you know the generation today uh, most of you are in the 20s and uh, uh, the next 25 years are your sort of a time starts and the next 25 years lot to be achieved in the country and i think the the way the current momentum has taken place uh, the the way we have handled the challenges of COVID as a country, I think we have got a great momentum now. A uh, lot of technology uh, is going to uh, play an important role in the coming year. So all of you, all of us need to, you know, align ourselves, need to ensure that we are part of this technology, we are part of this growth story for the next 25 years. So it's not only the uh, the when we say the growth of the country for the defense or we should be strong as a nation as a defense but a lot of things food security education health care uh, the spirituality of the country what we have given to the world yoga everything comes in this uh, next 25 years so how we are going to play a role as individuals as families as organization is going to next 25 years uh, and i think the yesterday if you take a cue small cue from the prime minister's speech also the has talked about the research you know jay anusandhan anusandhan means research so i think that's what is going to drive and that's where you are today the program which you are joined it it is about the clinical research it is about the research a very important element of the drug development if we if we want to develop new drugs if we want to challenge the diseases we need to constantly develop new technologies new drugs new medical devices and that's where i think the clinical research plays a very, very important role. And in India, 
you know, India showed the path in the, if you uh, last see the two and a half years in the COVID, uh, the India story became actually much better. Everyone thought when the COVID happened, how India is going to handle this issue, these challenges, uh, the disease, whether we'll be able to actually vaccine our people for the next seven, eight, nine years. But actually, India proved everyone wrong. Our scientists, our pharmaceutical industry, our business leadership, our political leadership, everyone proved the world wrong. And we, within a year, we were able to vaccinate the majority population of the country. And that happened because of you, because of the scientific uh, pool, the pharmaceutical strong base of the pharmaceutical companies we have, and the good you know the regulatory environment today which india has which is encouraging the drug development process and that's what you're going to learn in this program over the next three months uh, where how the clinical trials are conducted uh, what are the regulations what are the roles and responsibilities of various uh, stakeholders uh, how the uh, you know, the essential documents, the the clinical research is all about documents, how we fill documents, how we analyze the documents, how the scientific information, uh, the IT technology used into this. So all about the documentation. So you're going to learn all these aspects of the clinical trials during this program. Many of you would have chosen the specialization between data management or the uh, pharmacovigilance depending upon your uh, the graduation or the post graduation which you have done so you're going to learn pharmacovigilance pharmacovigilance is the science of drug safety is it part of the research of course it's a part of the research it's a part of the not only the clinical research per se when we are conducting the clinical trials we are ensuring that we continue to monitor the safety of the drug. And at any stage, the drug benefits are much lesser and the safety concerns are higher. We do not continue with the research. And that comes with the help of pharmacovigilance. We achieve that with the help of pharmacovigilance science. But then the drug goes to the market. Once the drug is safe, it has got the efficacy, the drug is launched into the market. Now, what do we do? Do we stop doing pharmacovigilance? No. The pharmacovigilance is continued throughout the life cycle of the drug. As long as the drug is there in the market, we need to carry out the pharmacovigilance activities. Whether the drug is there for 10, 20, 30, 40, 100, we're here, we constantly do the monitor the safety of the drug. Till date, acrosine paracetamol, which is a very old drug used for common fever, we use all the time out of our homes. The companies continue to monitor the safety of the drug till date. And a lot of new information has come out about paracetamol. If it's not used properly, uh, there is a, you know, uh, lack of, you know, say you, you need to constantly monitor the safety of the drug throughout the life cycle. And that's where the role of the pharmacovigilance in the post market space is very essential. And in the next three months, you're going to learn how these monitoring of the safety is done, how we collect the information, how we process this information, how we use the technology information, technology to process this information, how we uh, send this information to the regulatory agencies. What do the regulators do with this safety information? Do they just keep it on the shelves or this information is further utilized by the regulatory agencies uh, for taking long-term decisions on the safety of the drug. So the entire science you're going to learn over the next three months period. This is specialization on data management, how the clinical research when you conduct, how the data is captured, how data is integrated into softwares with the help of softwares, how we analyze this information, how the we submit this data to the regulatory agencies. So that's data management. 
very integral part, very important part of the clinical trials because wrong data management, wrong inputs of data can cause catastrophes in the drug. So very, so over the next three months, you're going to learn this science of entire clinical research, data management, pharmacovigilance. Program is certified as the business teams would have discussed with you. Program is certified by the Life Sciences Sector Skill Development Council, Government of India. So which means your final exam on the portal of LSSDC, which is the government body. And once you complete your exam, successfully pass, you will receive certificates, various certificates for this program. You will receive the certification by the Life Sciences Sector Skill Development Council. You will receive the Clinimine certification. You have one built-in internship into this program. And I'm sure you all have been told so that you learn a little more practical aspects of these subjects. And last but not least, GCP certificate for all of you. GCP is good clinical practice. The GCP is the backbone for clinical trials. All global regulations related with the clinical trials, the GCP forms the backbone of all these regulations. GCP is a good clinical practice, how we conduct trials, ethics of the clinical trials, how we conduct documentation, everything GCP covers. And all clinical research professionals must be GCP certified all clinical research professionals annually must be gcp certified because that's the basic requirement of conducting the clinical trials so a lot of these certifications have been built in as a part of the program you are going to learn these uh, subjects topics uh, some important uh, elements for all of you and my, my colleagues Today, Dr. Vipra, Mr. Rahul Malia, and the Said sir, uh, will talk about a lot of these subjects, a lot of these issues today and over the next three months period. But what I'm going to address is very, very simple but important issues. We are into the IT-based jobs now. I think the world, there's no more pen and paper jobs. All of you must be good in using computers and at least the fundamentals. Fundamentals are Word document, Excel, PowerPoint. Using Google for search, scientific research, scientific search. These are the, some of the basic activities which you must do on day to day basis. We will be taking some sessions, some of these sessions will be taken on Excel and all, but make sure that your keyboard skills are good. You should be able to type on using computer. You should be able to type using word processor. Uh, Microsoft Word is something you should know inside out. Using basic Excel is very elementary. Using PowerPoint presentation, you should be able to prepare presentations where you will be, uh, you know, making presentations to your colleagues, uh, you know, your uh, your other sort of partners in the company, you should be able to use all these softwares very well. Very important. And this could impact your placements eventually. If you're not able to type well, use Excel well, start doing it. You have the next three months, make sure that you learn all these things. Extremely important. Basic writing etiquettes, basic writing skills. There will be sessions over the next three months. We have planned certain basic English writing skills. But that's, as they say, the charity begins at home. You must do it yourself. You should know how to write a basic email, a basic courteous email, a basic office email, you know, proper addressing, salutation, body of the email, closing of the email. That's extremely important. So all these things are going to play crucial role there will be a lot of other things uh, debates we plan debates we plan poster presentations we have presentation skills all these skills we have built in because 
60% its role is going to be scientific role when you go for interview. 40% will be how you present yourself, how you write your CV, how you present yourself, you know, in the interview. Uh, how do you write a small business email? A lot of these things, the communication skills are going to be 40% weightage in your interview maybe sometimes more the the recruiters think the technology technical scientific aspects you already know you are going to be trained they expect you to know how the clinical trial is conducted what are regulations what are documents what is pharmacovigilance how you do the case processing they expect you to know this but they want to see are you able to work in a team are you good about time time management do you arrive interview in time or you are late? Uh, how do you type on computer? How do you use Excel? This is about 40%. And we will be emphasizing on all these issues in your program. We, in order to prepare for interviews, we go at length seriously. We, we have a team led by Mr. Experience, Mr. Raul Malia, Dr. Vipra, and the other team member who will ensure that train you on interview skills. But you have to participate in these programs. Don't think you know interviews, but no, actually, you may not know the what the interviewers are going to ask you. So we go at length, we prepare you for these job interviews. So make sure that you participate in these programs, participate in these skilling sessions. It's not only about pharmacovigilance, data management, or clinical research. 40% weightage of these interviews will be on your other skills. So, so these are the some of the you know important elements. Uh, we have excellent placement team. Your interviews will be conducted, mock interviews. Then we arrange in the interviews with the companies. There'll be opportunities coming in your way, but ensure that you take up opportunities. You don't skip interviews. You don't want to miss interviews. You don't say that I'm not prepared, I won't appear for interview. Every time you do this, you are losing opportunity. So next three months are going to be very important on the science management and the skill set. Skills are going to play the most important role. So with this, I would wish you all the best for this program. And if you have any question, I'm very, very happy to answer and we are accessible, the team is always accessible, but spend 